Hi, my name is Mo Aiz Aiman. My name is Mo Aiman Hakim. My name is Hidayat Nisa, and we are the representative of Alam Shah Science School. Firstly, I would like to introduce every aspect of our project in our introduction. So first, what is fertilizer? A fertilizer is any material of natural or synthetic origin that is applied to soil or to plant tissues to supply plant nutrients. Fertilizers may be distinct from living materials or other non-nutrient soil amendments. Many sources of fertilizer exist, both natural and industrially produced. For most modern agricultural practices, fertilization focuses on three macronutrients which are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium with occasional addition of supplements like rock dust for micronutrients. Farmers apply these fertilizers in a variety of ways through dry or pelletized or liquid application processes using large agricultural equipment or hand tool methods. Fertilizers enhances the growth of plants. This goal is met in two ways, the traditional one being additives that provide nutrients, the second mode by which some fertilizers act is to enhance the effectiveness of the soil by modifying its water retention and aeration. Uh, the three main macronutrients that I have stated before, which has its own purposes like nitrogen is for leaf growth, phosphorus is for the development of roots, flowers, seeds and fruit, potassium for strong stem growth, movement of water in plants prom and promoting of flowering and fruiting. Plain. What is eutrophication? Eutrophication is the gradual increase in the concentration of phosphorus, nitrogen and other plant nutrients in an aging aquatic ecosystem such as a lake. The productivity or fertility of such an ecosystem naturally increases as the amount of organic materials that can be broken down into nutrients increases. This material enters the ecosystem primarily by runoff from land that carries debris and the products of the reproduction and death of terrestrial organisms. Water blooms or great concentrations of algae and microscopic organisms often develop on the surface, preventing the light penetration and oxygen absorption necessary for underwater life. Eutrophic waters are often murky and may support fewer large animals such as fish and birds than non-eutrophic waters. Now we go to the milk section. Milk also known in unfermented form of sweet milk, is a nutrient-rich liquid food produced by the mammary glands of mammals. It is the primary source of nutrition for young mammals, including breastfed human infants before they are able to digest solid food. Early lactation milk is called colostrum, which contains antibodies that strengthen the immune system and thus reduces the risk of many diseases. It holds many other nutrients, including protein and lactose. Interspecies consumption of milk is not uncommon, particularly among humans, many of whom consume the milk of other mammals. We go to our main ingredient in our product, Melizer. The main ingredient of our product is soy milk. Soy milk is a plant-based non-dairy beverage, often consumed as an alternative to milk. It's made from soybeans and many brands fortify their soy milk with vitamins and minerals such as vitamin D and calcium. Soy milk offers culinary diversity, creamy texture and a healthful nutritional profile including essential omega-3 fatty acids if fortified and flavonoids that exert antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and cardioprotective properties. To the next part of our presentation is the problem statement. One of the main problems of fertilizer is if used excessively, it will cause eutrophication. It happens when excessive amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus from the fertilizer seep into the soil and dissolve in the underground water that channels it to the main source of water, which is usually the river. This will cause chemical substances in the river to increase and it will enlarge the growth of algae inside of the water. The algae will go through photosynthesis and will block the surface of water. This will cause the plants inside of the water to not gain enough sunlight and will eventually cause them to die. To add 
Some fertilizers in the market right now has an unreasonable price and not all consumers can afford it. That is why we came up with our product, Merkleiser. Merkleiser is a fertilizer which is milk based. It contains nutrients that are similar to normal fertilizers such as potassium, phosphorus and many nutrients that are needed like plants. What makes our fertilizer different from other fertilizers is that it is environmentally friendly and cost saving. Okay, now I will explain about our hypothesis. There are few questions that led to our hypothesis. Firstly, how does fertilizer is same with other fertilizers? Merkleiser contains the same macronutrients that are needed by plants same as any other fertilizers. The macronutrients are potassium, nitrogen and phosphorus. The usage of Merkleiser will probably probably lead to the same results. Secondly, how does using soy milk affect the product? So soy milk contains low rates of phosphorus compared to other fertilizers. Excessive dosage of phosphorus in other fertilizers usually causes eutrophication to occur. The usage of silk soy milk in milk lyser would lower down the probability of eutrophication to occur. Next, why does the milk lyser need to be diluted with water? The milk lyser should have a ratio of milk to water in about 1 to 2. This is to avoid the plants from having a bad odor caused by the microorganisms that affect the milk being used. So, diluting milk lyser with water will prevent the plants from having a foul odor. For our methodology, in order to make milk lyser a success, there are a lot of methods and research that we have to do in order to create a product that is user-friendly and fit its main objective. There are three main steps that we have to do to create this product. So firstly, we did a preliminary research and discovery phase. We gathered all of the information about fertilizers, milk, eutrophication, and also micronutrients. Second, we did an in-depth research about all of its nutrients and chemical substance that relates with fertilizers and also eutrophication. Secondly, creating the actual product. We make our product based on the quantity that we search. The ingredients needed are as follows. 25 milliliters of silk soy milk, 50 milliliters of water, and a spray bottle. The first step in making this milk fertilizer is we need to mix milk with water. After that, we can use the spoon to mix it carefully and properly. The volume of water is always more than the volume of milk. Put your mixture in the spray bottle carefully and properly. And lastly, we can spray the mixture at our plants. Make sure we spray it once a week for, uh, for the plants to get enough nutrients to live. Okay, now for results and discussions. For our experiment, we will be using two different home plants. For the first plant, we will add our fertilizer into the soil, while the other plant, we will be using normal fertilizers. We will be observing its growth to see how similar both fertilizer and other fertilizers are in terms of giving nutrients so, to plants. Based on our experiments on both plants, we can see that the rate of growth of both plants are the same. This means that fertilizer has the same nutrients that are needed by plants same as normal fertilizers. The rate of eutrophication can be reduced now since soy, soy milk that has been used has lower rate of phosphorus compared to other fertilizers. We hope that our product Mikleiser will be a success and can help to reduce the probability of eutrophication to occur and harming aquatic lives. There are a lot of steps and challenges in terms of finance and also sources, but hopefully our product will be a complete success and will be useful for the generations to come. That is all from us. 
Thank you.